हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट प्योरली रेजिस्टिव सर्किट विथ सिंगल फेस सीसी सप्लाई प्योरली इंडक्टिव सर्किट विथ सिंगल फेस सीसी सप्लाई एंड प्योरली कैपेसिटिव सर्किट विथ सिंगल फेस सीसी सप्लाई नाउ वी वांट टू नाउ आई वांट टू डिस्कस अबाउट सीरीज आर एल सर्किट विथ सिंगल फेस ए सप्लाई here i am considering purely resistance and purely inductance this resistance and inductance are connected in series series it means a uh, connections uh, where end to end connection is called series connection here resistance and inductance are connected end to end connection and across them we are connecting single phase ac supply we uh, single phase ac supply this single phase ac supply is called as applied voltage where v is equals to vm sin omega T. This types of network is ca called as series RLC network. Series RLC network. Now, due to this applied voltage, some amount of current will be flow through this circuit, through this RL circuit. This current is known as circuit current. It is represented by I letters, small I letters, and the current is flowing through the resistance is called I R current, and current is flowing through the inductance is known as I L current. this the rl current and il current is equal to uh, exactly this ir current is equals to this il current is equals to i current because this given network is series rlc circuit and series rlc circuit or we know that any types of series connections current value is same but voltage value is different so the voltage drop across the resistance vr and voltage drop across the inductance are different uh, now <coughs> i want to again find the uh, phasor diagram of this series rlc circuit so whenever we are drawing the phasor diagram of series rlc circuit so first of all find the uh, result uh, find the reference parameter reference parameter depends on the series depends on the series connection and parallel connections we know that any series connections Uh, current value is same that's why here i'm considering resist current is uh, current is a reference axis and this ir is equals to ir is equals to il is it, it this uh, this line is represented as this line is represented as reference axis of phasor diagram phasor diagram here uh, we know that uh, from the purely inductive circuit with single phase ac supply current and voltage are having in same phase so that this vr is uh, having in same uh, line of ir current or we can say i current and uh, from this purely inductive circuit we know that uh, voltage is leading nature voltage is leading nature 90 degree uh, by the current or we can say when we are considering a current is a reference axis voltage nature is leading nature voltage nature is vl voltage nature is leading nature so uh, in this uh, phasor diagram we know that current il with respect to il the voltage vl is 90 degree leading nature now i want to draw the resultant voltage uh, from vl and vr here vl and vr r is represented as a vector quantity then we get the resultant resultant voltage v it is represented by ob it is represented by ob ob and this uh, diagram this this diagram is known as phasor diagram of series rlc circuit series rlc circuit from this uh, phasor di from this phasor diagram we can define so many things in series rlc circuit uh, now i want to uh, i want to uh, i want to show uh, with this phasor uh, from this phasor diagram uh, applied voltage v if you are considering applied voltage v is a reference axis then we get v is equals to vm sin omega t and current nature is find current nature is lagging nature with respect to resultant voltage it is represented by red letters red pen or red letters v or it is represented by ob with respect to ob the current oa is lagging nature but we can't uh, comment on how much degree lagging nature that's why here represented by the 5 degree lagging nature this ob is represented the resultant voltage and this oa is represented 
represented as a resultant current of this series RLC phasor diagram from this phasor diagram we can comment on the uh, voltage equations and current equations if you are considering voltage is a reference axis then V is equals to Vm sin omega t and current nature is lagging nature so I is equals to I m sin omega t minus phi if you are considering current is a reference axis then I is equals to I m sin omega t and V is equals to Vm sin omega t plus phi plus phi so now from this phasor diagram now I want to find the resultant voltage uh, resultant voltage in series RLC circuit so by the uh, right angle triangle by the right angle triangle OA, OAB uh, by the Pythagoras uh, apply Pythagoras theorem from the Pythagoras theorem we know that hypotenuse uh, square is equals to base square plus perpendicular squares so from this uh, from this Pythagoras theorem we can return the equations V square is equal was to vr square plus vl square where v is represented as a hypotenuse hypotenuse uh, hypothesis uh, hypotenuse sorry <coughs> and vr is represented as a voltage drop across resistance or base and vl is represented as a perpendicular uh, voltage drop across the inductance now we know that the voltage drop across resistance vr is equals to uh, i into r and vl is equals to i into xl now substitute this value in equation number 2 then we get v is equals to i into under root r square plus xl square this under root rl plus xl xl square is represented as a impedance and this impedance is called as a, uh, a series rlc circuit impedance and another definition of this impedance is the vector sum of resistance and inductive reactance inductive reactance is known as impedance uh, z is represented as a impedance after uh, after this phasor diagram now I want to uh, now I want to discuss or I want to explain about the phase angle phase angle we know that uh, phase angle it means the angle between uh, resultant voltage and resultant current from this phasor diagram or we can say from the right angle triangle uh, OAB we know that tan phi is equals to perpendicular upon base where perpendicular is represented VL and base is represented VR we know that VL is equals to I into X xl and vr is equals to i into r now i to i cancel from denominator and numerator i to i cancel then we get tan phi is equals to xl by r and phi is equals to tan, tan inverse in bracket of xl by r this is represented as a phase angle now i want to move our fake fact, uh, power factor power factor the basic definition of power factor is very similar like purely inductive circuit and purely capacitive circuits uh, in uh, from the right angle triangle right from the phasor diagram or we can say from the right angle triangle OAB we know that cos phi is equals to base upon hypotenuse uh, base upon hypotenuse so base we know that base is equals to VR voltage drop and hypotenuse is V voltage that voltage is called as resultant voltage of series RLC circuit here VR is equals to I into R and V is equals to I into Z I into Z where here numerator and denominator I to I is cancelled then we get power factor is equals to r by z so any types of uh, purely resistive circuit power factor is the ratio of resistance to impedance is called a power factor and another definition of power factor is angle cosine angle of voltage and current is known as power factor both definition is right now i want to explain about uh, waveform diagram waveform diagram so first of all i want to draw the uh, voltage waveform diagram and current waveform diagram from this phasor diagram we know that voltage and current uh, in from this equation v is equals to vm sin omega t and i is equals to i m sin omega t minus phi so from this equation or from, uh, the, from this equation we can say with respect to voltage current is lagging nature or <coughs> I is equals to I m V is equals to V m sin omega t plus phi. So from this equation we can say with respect to current voltage is leading nature. Now I want to draw the phasor. Now I want to draw the waveform diagram with the help of this equation V is equals to V m sin omega t and I is equals to I m sin omega t minus phi. So when <coughs> we are drawing this waveform diagram, so first of we are considering the voltage as a reference axis. So first of all draw the voltage waveform diagram. With respect to voltage waveform diagram, current 
current waveform diagram is 5 degree lagging nature to due to 5 degree lagging nature current is 5 degree lagging and <clears throat> the pro uh, the product of voltage into current the product of voltage into current is known as power so with the help of this uh, these two waveform we can draw the power wave waveform diagram it is represented by red uh, pen or we can say red letters uh, uh, here arrow is p is equals to power waveform power waveform now i want to uh, now i want to explain about the impedance uh, triangle impedance triangle to from this phasor diagram or from this phasor diagram or uh, we can say right angle triangle o a b o a b whenever you are considering right angle triangle o v to this o a o a line is represented as a voltage drop across the resistance and this voltage drop across resistance v r is equals to i into r and this a b is represented as a voltage drop across the inductance v l v l is equals to i into x l and this o b is represented as a volt resultant voltage drop of purely <laughs> voltage drop <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> voltage drop across voltage drop across series RLC circuit V is equals to I into Z. Here in this uh, right angle triangle OAB, uh, I is a same factor. So this OA is represented as a resistance. O a b is represented as inductive reactance and o b is represented as impedance this triangle is known as impedance triangle after impedance triangle now i want to explain about voltage triangle voltage triangle though from again so from the phasor diagram or we can say right angle triangle o a b uh, this o a is represented as a voltage drop across resistance a b is represented as a voltage drop across the inductance and o b is represented as a voltage drop across uh, series rl circuit this uh, triangle is known as voltage triangle now now next point is power triangle power triangle it means we know that uh, if we have base is represented as a active power and perpendicular is represented as a reactive power and hypotenuse is represented as a apparent power is known as power triangle power triangle we know that O A is represented voltage drop across resistance it means V R is equals to I into R A B is represented as a voltage drop across I into X L and O B is represented as a voltage drop across resultant voltage drop across R L circuit V is equals to I into Z now multiply uh, I in all uh, three uh, all three component or all three li line segment or we can say base hypotenuse and perpendicular then we get i square into r i square into xl i square into z this i square into r is represented as a active power and i square into xl is represented as a reactive power and i square into z is represented as a apparent power this power tri this triangle is known as power triangle now next point is apparent power apparent power it means the product of rms term of voltage into rms term of current is known as apparent power uh, the it is represented by s letter its unit is volt per ampere or va and uh, uh, this uh, an, another unit is kilovolt ampere kilovolt ampere or second uh, second terms uh, another way we can define s is equals to i square into z or v square by z uh, now next point is active power active power it means the product of apparent power the product of apparent power and cosine angle of cosine angle or we can say power factor is known as active power this uh, p is it is represented by p later its unit is kilovolt or kilowatt or watt it's uh, its unit is kilowatt uh, or watt p is equals to v rms into i rms is equals to into cos phi next term is reactive power the product of apparent power into cosine angle sign angle is known as reactive power it is represented by q letters its unit is var or we can say k k k v a r k v a r q is equals to v r m s into i r m s into sin phi so uh, from this uh, series rlc circuit we uh, we have already we, we have been discussed so many parameters so many things uh, like uh, uh, from the starting point of view first of all define the define the series rlc circuit what
what is series RLC circuit then after discussing about series RLC circuit uh, discuss about phasor diagram phasor after phasor diagram impedance phase angle phase angle power factor power waveform diagram impedance triangle voltage triangle power triangle apparent power active power and reactive power this is uh, uh, in this uh, in this derivations uh, something uh, some part is more important uh, the, that is voltage triangle impedance voltage triangle impedance triangle and power triangle uh, in the exam separate definition in the exams examiner are asked separate definitions of impedance triangle voltage triangle and power triangle of series rl circuit or sometimes series rc circuit and sometimes they are asked about series rlc circuit that's all.